Hi, it's Alex Goldfein. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're talking about my new book, Evangelist Marketing. There it is. Uh, subtitle, What Apple, Amazon, and Netflix Understand About Their Customers That Your Company Probably Doesn't. Now, I want to talk to you about this infographic. This is available on my website for download. You can put it on your website. There's HTML code if you click on the infographic that you can copy and paste onto your website. And uh, my site is at evangelistmktg.com. Evangelistmktg, that's for marketing.com. Uh, here's the infographic. I'll hold it up here. And uh, this top image, the top chart right there, that's the main model of the book. So at chapter four, I introduce this model, and then the rest of the chapters go through detailing the process for creating evangelists. This is a step-by-step -step system for creating evangelists. And uh, this infographic essentially is that model on a single image, on a single page, right? So uh, briefly, I wanna cover the steps with you here, summarize them for you, uh, because it basically takes you through my model for creating evangelists for consumer electronics, all right? So, uh, step number one, you need to begin with excellent products. If the product isn't awesome, then chances are you won't create evangelists for it. Uh, it's just how it works. Bad products, average products, even above average products, they don't gather mainstream consumer evangelists. They can't. So, what entails an excellent product? Uh, they must exceed your customer's expectations and they must make people feel very, very good. Now, next you need to gather deep consumer insights. I'm not talking about focus groups. I'm not talking about internet surveys. You need to have conversations with consumers about your devices, about the market, and about the competitor's devices. And you need to capture that language because, third step, you need to use powerful language when it comes to your marketing. You need to use emotional words. You need to use words about lifestyle. You need to tell stories. And the best possible language is the language of your customers. Step four, you need to streamline your public relations. Meaning, don't blast journalists. Don't send emails anonymously. Build relationships one-on-one -on -one and actually help writers, bloggers, broadcasters, producers, editors, help them. Step five, Utilize the right platforms. And by this, I don't necessarily mean Facebook. For example, your product package is a missed platform, typically. It's a missed marketing opportunity. Your product manual is a missed marketing opportunity. Don't make people go find the manual on your website. There's a lot more there about the right platforms. Word of mouth marketing, step six. You need to develop word of mouth among your consumers. And you develop word of mouth by having best in class products, by having industry-leading user experiences, and by creating a fascinated press and blogosphere. I talk about how to do that in that chapter. Then you get evangelists, and then the final step is you have to maintain your evangelists, because in consumer electronics, gravity pushes backwards. This is an important thing. This model on top, the graph, as you go from the beginning to the end, you're moving into more rare territory. There's less and less companies going from excellent product, that's over here, all the way to evangelists and the maintenance of evangelists. And gravity pushes us this way, meaning if you do nothing, or even if you just continue doing the things that got you a critical mass of evangelists, people will pass you by. Companies will innovate their way past you in a heartbeat. If you need some examples, Netflix, Research in Motion, Sony, Microsoft, I can go on and on and on. So you must keep innovating and then once you uh, get your evangelists, you must maintain them. And the way to maintain them is that you must never stop communicating with them, you must never stop listening to them, and you've got to keep innovating not just your products, but also your marketing. And that's the model that I lay out in evangelist marketing in a nutshell. Of course, there's lots of stories, there's lots of examples, it goes far deeper. There's far more points than we just did in four minutes on this video. But that's the basic model for you to create evangelists for your products or services in consumer electronics. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex Goldfein.